it's your girl Latrine coming back at you with another video in today's video it's just gonna be a vlog um because like I'm just kind of starting like a healthier journey as y'all can see your girl is glowing but yeah I've been just getting into some different things and stuff like that and I know people be asking me advice in like different areas um, kind of like what I do on a daily or just, you know, my lifestyle, I guess. So, I'm going to just be vlogging it. So, if you want to know, you're going to have to catch it here, okay? So, I just got from, I'm like, I just got from, I just got done making a smoothie. So, this smoothie, I had strawberries, apples, pecans, some Greek yogurt and uh, almond milk. Here is my refrigerator. I eat, but I don't eat. This is the milk. This is the yogurt. I used the last of the strawberries and the pecans that I had, so that's why you don't see that. But it's 9.51, and I'm about to go to work. I gotta be at work at 11. I have, when I get off, I gotta go by my friend's house. And, um, well, no, actually, she gonna come to me, but I gotta go to my grandma's house. I'm doing her hair um also like with school i'm still doing my chapters like i be BS, well i was bs in major in the beginning but um i had the time to finish in time but i was bsing but one thing i i have been learning is you got to take things like little at a time one thing at a time like trying to like Y'all know, I didn't, y'all can see I took a good little break. Like, I didn't even vlog for my birthday. Um, I mean, I just, I, I didn't even do, I haven't even been promoting my stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not going to force myself to do all that, you know what I'm saying? Because YouTube was something I kind of wanted to wait on to do anyway, but, I mean... I be having free time sometimes. And I don't know, I just like to I just like to record. Like it's just therapeutic for me. I need to give me another phone to like for footage, you know, specifically. Cause this stuff take up a lot of storage on top of hair and personal life. Like, yeah. So um I'ma just be vlogging me packing my bag. Y'all can see how I pack my bag, you know, when I when I'm going to a client. Um, shit, there's really, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be seeing me jamming and shit, so yeah. Oh, and I just wanted to point this out there, the type of program that I'm doing, it's basically like an at your own pace course. It's like, um, you know how somebody can be qualified or so high in rank and certifications in the hair industry that they're able to um basically like teach people and give credentials to so it's kind of like the program that i'm doing so like when i kind of explain it to people they don't really get it because they just know about you know hair schools like you know like going to a university type you know but it's not like that so that's what I be trying to tell people. It's at my own pace. I was just the one BSing. I really was supposed to be done back in like January. But you know, we ain't gonna beat ourselves up about it because it's like once you start something, you're not gonna stop. Like, we're gonna keep pulling it, okay? Oh, and also, I just want to tell y'all, I have not seen numbers this low since I was like, in middle school and the, i like this scale the thing about this scale it tells you this so my pounds person one this my bmi my fat percentage water percentage and muscle percentage and then it transferred to kilometers i guess but yeah i got this scale from walmart <laughs> um yeah so that's why i really kind of just want to share my journey and stuff because most people, they just don't know nobody personally who has started kind of like doing this journey. I be telling people about it, but I don't just be putting it out there. And how much, let me just put the camera on me. 
I'm gonna just put the camera on me real quick and I'm gonna just say, your girl, dude, I was exercising. Y'all know when I was exercising, but I really haven't even exercised since that video. I have not exercised since that video. And I know, like, you see your results after you exercise, like, after you get done exercising. But, like, I look bigger on camera, no lie. But I wore a small, I wore a size small leggings and like I ain't been like if you know I've been complaining about how I wear a size large and shit and I'm like bro I don't look like no large like when people used to guess my weight like they would guess lower numbers than what I was and I'm like dang like I wanted, I wanted my number to match my you know how I look so yeah I mean I done lost some of the weight now I didn't kind of like make my goal. My goal was like 145. That was my goal last year. I didn't get too far from it. Um, I went back up, but then I went back down. Once I was able to move out on my own and eat how I wanted to eat, because that was kind of one of the main things I was aiming towards. That was like, you know, one of my reasons for moving out on my own. I might do a story on how on why I decided to move out on my own and all that too because I think some people want to know. But yeah, let me stop jibber jabbering cuz time is ticking, okay? Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I want I just want to say that these products are my absolute faves when it comes to working with natural hair. I make sure that my mist spray bottle is empty and that my refresher spray is locked so it doesn't spray out into everything else. video on um how I did my birthday wig like uh the coloring process and all that I didn't even got to leave well like I had filmed it and everything like you know it was a finished product I made the thumbnail for it and um I guess I was just trying to delete storage you know stuff off my phone so I can have a storage just why I said I need the second phone just how I save my storage like I try to save storage in advance so I don't have to go back later 
Mine ended up deleting the whole finished video. So I use VLO or VLO, whatever it's called. And that's what I edited my videos on. I had deleted the clips. Like once I made the finished, you know, film, I uh, deleted all the, you know, you know, cut up clips and shit, whatever. Um, and so VLO, if you delete the original footage, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna have it in storage on the app because you know that's how they get the stuff. But whatever. So I ended up doing that, and I was just discouraged. I was like, man, I don't feel like, like this is gonna be at least something to put out there. I know today is February the seventeenth, and I mean, you know, we're just gonna see when I have it uploaded because. You know, you gotta be busy, but I be wanting to spend most of my free time in my books, but I don't be at the house all the time. So this is something I can at least have in my free time. And when I say my free time, I mean my free time. I'm talking about when I'm waiting, like if it's slow at work, I'm working on my YouTube. If um I get dragged out to go somewhere with somebody, and you know, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm gonna drive in the car. I'm working on my YouTube. Like, I just feel like any downtown you should. I feel like any downtown you have, you should be working on something that you want to do. You know, like I be working on my price list while, like, in my free time. You know, something like this. I'm pertaining to my business. I feel like in your free, like, don't get me wrong. I do be on social media and shit like that, but. I try to have that free time because we be saying we ain't got time for stuff, but it's all about how you utilize your time, you know? So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of my chest. And, um, these twists cute. My edge, bro, y'all see my edges? Like, I don't know. Like, if you don't know me, if you never paid attention or, you know, then you won't know that I really didn't have no edges for it. Like, I wasn't bald, but it was kind of thin right there. And like my stuff full now from, I'm gonna um, post a TikTok of the stuff that I use um, to have it like this. But I really had some bolocks in my head and I was putting the stuff on, uh, I wasn't putting it like, the whole time I had the bolocks, I probably put it in like, six seven times max like because it's kind of thick so it will cause build up but it was causing my hair i, I don't know if it was causing my, causing my hair to grow per se but get thicker for sure i know that because i don't know like when i clip my ends i do i don't even feel like i be cutting a big amount so i just like my hair don't be goddamn growing but I'm not gonna lie, I really did have some unhealthy ends, so I went ahead and cut this shit off. And my curl pattern it get tighter, so mm -hmm. like my hair just be changing. But uh, and since I bought the my Miel Miel products, my hair like it's been like restoring moisture and like my curl pattern is tighter, but you know it feels healthier, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. Or at least for now, I'm slowly but surely getting off the cheap stuff because the cheap stuff we have in my hair fluctuating. I like one thing I can say about the Maya product brand, like it has my hair in a consistent texture for the most part. Cause my I, I can upload pictures and videos of my hair texture looking different every time I style it. Like every time I get done washing it. My hair is just, it's just always something different. But with the Maya, like I said, for the most part, I don't have her shampoo. I need to get some of her shampoo and conditioner. I just get like the styling products. And if the styling products stay fine, you know, I'm just, I, I need to see what the shampoo and conditioner hitting on. I do got the deep conditioner. I haven't used that yet, but I think I'm probably wait until I get her shampoo and conditioner to use the deep conditioner. But I'm rambling on too much. This just about wraps this video up. Don't forget to like comment and you can share with your friends you know if they want to see some stuff like they interested in stuff like this share with them and most of all subscribe okay until next time bye